if you're talking about just a screening, if you're not having any problems, then I would still recommend a pelvic exam during your reproductive years every year. Obviously, if you're having a problem, you come in for a problem. Um, you may or not have a pap smear, but every three to five years, depending on what, uh, on what kind of pap smear is done, if we take the HPV with it called co-testing, or if we use just a standard pap, that would be every three years. If we do co-testing, it would be every three to five. And also that depends on whether you've had an abnormality or not. Those are screening tests. As you get older, and that starts at age 21. As you get older, some people age out. They end up having a hysterectomy for benign, non-dysplastic or cancerous region, reasons. So they cannot, they don't have to have pap smears after they get to be 65 or after they've had the hysterectomy um, for benign disease. Some people still need to follow if they've had a hysterectomy and had severe dysplasia, say, or moderate to severe dysplasia, they'll still need to be followed um, at least with an exam, sometimes we do paps of the vaginal cuff. Not very frequently anymore. We look for an abnormality and then biopsy it if need be. Um, other people, there's still some controversy as when you can actually age out if you have an intact cervix. Most people will say if you've never had an abnormality, uh, you can age out at age 65. Still, you'll need to come for an exam periodically. I would still say annually to look for other things diseases of the vulva, diseases of the vagina, do a biomanual to feel that there's no mass in the pelvis, find out if you're having any bile or bladder problems, prolapse of the pelvic organs, things that we can help you with or fix, see if their hormonal status is okay, make sure there's no other problems ongoing. And then um, if you've had no abnormality, ever had an abnormal pap, maybe age out. If you've had an abnormality but have been normal, for 20 years, then you can age out of pap smears at that point. But typically the pap part will be done at three to five year intervals. Pelvic exam at present, I would say at least age 65 done annually, and then it might skip to every other year, and certainly anytime there's a problem.